I have the bearing hangers uh, for the rear axle. We have a live three-quarter inch rear axle. And I'm trying, and my water heater just went on. I'm trying to figure out how to do this, and uh, it's almost five o'clock, so I'm getting tired. <laughs> but I'm slowly working toward uh, getting these bearing hangers welded on. And what I've done is I've taken a piece of the uh, inch and a quarter by a quarter inch steel flat, and I've just made pieces like this that I can then mount. Instead of trying to cut a special, specially uh, made circuit or plate, I'm just going to do it this way. I drilled holes in the flat pieces of steel, and then after I drilled the holes, I put it in the, the uh, bandsaw and I cut them up, and now I have all these pieces. And now, I think I've figured out how I'm going to put this all together. One of the things you, you, you got to watch out for when you weld um, a bearing on is you want to make sure that the current never goes through the bearing. Because if the current goes through the bearing, it can wreck the, uh, the ball bearings inside the bearing. So just make sure that when you clamp on, if you're going to weld from here to here, this wasn't wood, let's say from that piece to that piece, clamp your electrode here, never clamp it around here or around a shaft that would be attached to here because then the current would go through the bearings and wreck your bearings. Back on. Get this all adjusted. My spacer in. I put in some washers that are about an eighth of an inch thick to space it off the frame. We're going to run the axle on top of the frame because if we put the frame on top of the axle, I think the go-kart would, it actually might have a really cool sort of west coast back end up being way up in the air. But um, this, with this setup, it'll still be up in the air. It won't be crazy. Um, now I'm going to weld these tabs, tack weld these tabs right here to the frame and these tabs hold the bearings. And the neat thing about these, these bearings is there's a bearing holder, then there's the actual bearings, and um, there can be some offset. This, can, this doesn't have to be uh, 90 degrees. It doesn't have to be perfectly 90 degrees. These bearings self-align once you begin to tighten these down. So that's a really not a handy thing to have in a frame that is essentially a parallelogram and not a, a rectangle. Get these spacers out of here. And now we're, we have the rotation of our. Oh, it feels great. Very nice and smooth. It's not tightened up yet. You can see it's keyed too. So now I, I should be able to go ahead and turn this frame over and uh, make all the tack welds into final welds. I'm going to leave this bar in place. One of the things that happens if you take two pieces of steel like this piece and that piece. And if you take a welding class, though, I'm sure they'll show you this, is if I was gonna weld this piece to this piece, if I weld on this side, as I start to weld, it's gonna pull it, the heat distortion is gonna pull it out of shape. So you can't weld all on one side and weld all on the other side. You have to do a little tack on one side, then a little tack on the other, and kind of tack it, tack it, tack it, tack it, then go around and finish the weld. Otherwise, instead of ending up with that, you'll end up with that or that. So I'm going to very carefully tack this together so we have a nice, uh, a nice setup here. <laughs> <laughs> 